Then do not forget the Bible study tomorrow and the Sunday service uh, when Thursday prayer meeting, especially on Thursday, nobody join. Sorry, they've got to be seeing this one on the microphone, but nobody join. It's a bit of Let's do all what we can do, and God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. If they are, let's pray for Kefa's family that travel, and God will be with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to pray for their family too. And the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will put every family in Jesus' name. If there's any other thing, I will let us know. It's time for praise and worship. Before then, let us bring our title and offer. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because you are King of kings, Lord of lords. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will speak to our heart in Jesus' name, and our offering will be accepted before you. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's put our offering into back, and as we are putting our offering into back, let's close our eyes. Let's close our eyes. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. God will keep to talk to every one of us in Jesus' name. Pray for yourself that in a new dimension you will see Almighty God. Call upon him. Call upon him. There's nothing too bad, too hard for him to do. He will surely meet you, he will surely meet me at the point of the night. God will restore everything we lost. And the grace of the Lord will continue to be sufficient for us. Praise him. Praise him. It's worthy of our praise. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Because our time has gone, I will advise that we should just go to Bible reading and then we go to choir or, and then we go to the message. Praise the Lord. We shall read from, us from the book of Acts, chapter 9. Book of Acts, chapter 9. Book of Acts, chapter 9. Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest, and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven, and he fell to the earth, and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul! Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were opened, he saw no man. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did eat nor drink. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias, and he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the street which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayeth, 
and hath seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him, that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he hath done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he hath authority from the chief priests to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house, and putting his hands on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus that appeared unto thee in the way as thou camest, hath sent me, that thou mightest receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. And when he had received meat, he was strengthened. Then was Saul certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus, and straightway he preached Christ in the synagogues that he is the Son of God. But all that heard him were amazed and said, Is not this he that destroyed them which called on this name in Jerusalem, and came hither for that intent, that he might bring them bound unto the chief priests? But Saul increased the more in strength, and confounded the Jews which dwelt at Damascus, proving that this is very Christ. And after that many days were fulfilled, the Jews took counsel to kill him. But their laying await was known of Saul. And they watched the gates day and night to kill him. Then the disciples took him by night and let him down by the wall in a basket. And when Saul was come to Jerusalem, he essayed to join himself to the disciples, but they were all afraid of him and believed not that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared unto them how he had seen the Lord in the way and that he had spoken to him and how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. And he was with them, coming in and going out at Jerusalem. And he spake boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus, and disputed against the Grecians. But they went about to slay him, which when the brethren knew, they brought him down to Caesarea, and sent him forth to Tarsus. Then had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria, and were edified, and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost, were multiplied. And it came to pass, as Peter passed throughout all quarters, he came down also to the saints which dwelt at Lydda. And there he found a certain man named Aeneas, which had kept his bed eight years, and was sick of the palsy. And Peter said unto him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ maketh thee whole. Arise and make thy bed. And he arose immediately. And all that dwelt at Lydda and Saron saw him and turned to the Lord. Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died, whom when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. And forasmuch as Lydda was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping, and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth, and kneeled down and prayed. And turning him to the body, said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. And he gave her his hand, and lifted her up, and when he had called the saints and widows, presented her alive. And it was known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. And it came to pass that he tarried many days in Joppa with one Simon a tanner. May God bless his word in our heart in Jesus' name. We shall listen to choir song.
not a problem but because i'm conscious of our time so we go straight to the our message let us rise up to pray in jesus name we pray our mighty father we glorify your name we thank you lord because of today we thank you lord because of great opportunity you give to us we are here in, with all sober mind you have spoken to every one of us oh lord for a reason but you know us from the womb and then you do not work condemnation for us you know where we are coming from you know where we are going lord we know about heaven and by the power and the blood of jesus christ we have decided and you will take us there in jesus name we are not only praying for ourselves we are praying for our children we are praying for all our family we are praying for all those people who are concerned you are the god of reconciliation you will reconcile us with us we will reconcile us with you in jesus name and by the power and the blood of jesus Christ, all things that went wrong lord you will make straight in jesus name you have a purpose for bringing us together to hear the word of the lord to preach the word of the lord the purpose will not be defeated in jesus name and at the long run we will continue to have reason to glorify your name thank you O lord because you are the lord and answer prayer in jesus name we pray i welcome everyone of us to today's service and uh, i want to thank everyone for us to continue to bear to continue to endure to continue to stay and to continue to ready to obey the word of the lord i want to let you know that we are so fortunate in this church i want to let us know that we are so fortunate every individual of us that god has brought together you have shaped my life and i know without missing of word either one thing or two things you are gaining from my life and i pray that by the power in the blood of jesus christ all these things will not stay against the will of god for us in jesus name the journey to heaven is very tough let us be sincere and the almost every day i'm mentioning it on this pulpit jesus christ himself knows that the journey is very very tough and then last week i still want you to hold it even if that's the only thing you are going to hold on to jesus christ said you know it is a person that talk about lying and you know that he is holy and you know that he cannot lie and you know that although he may speak in parable he will not misuse word he not said in that word he said you see that rich people there's nothing they cannot do when come to the drinking they have money to do when come to enjoy their life they have money to do it when come to many wife they have money to have many wife when come to putting on a lot of very expensive clothes that you can see everything about their body they have money to buy that kind of cloth but i'm telling you and this is what i'm telling you those people who you are i'm talking about with you it will be very difficult for them it will be easier for a camel you know that camel cannot enter the hole of a needle so god is saying automatically that it is not possible for them to go to the kingdom of god so god jesus was not saying it will be very very difficult for them it will be easier for camel to enter into to the midst of needle than for them to go to the kingdom of god and that is the difficulty 
that is the problem. But I pray that God is going to help us in Jesus' name. But I have a testimony for you. My dear sister, my dear brother in the Lord, I want you to smile. No matter how the message has beaten us today, your Redeemer, leave it. Your Redeemer, leave it. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we wipe away your tears in Jesus' name. Do not forget. We are in the world. And then, Bible let us know. The devil went into Jesus Christ to test him. By the time Jesus Christ was tested, and he was asking him a series of questions. He said, bow down for me. You know, all this world belongs unto me. And if you bow down for me, I will give you all this world. If you bow down for devil, all the joy you think you want, it will give it, but it has taken something. If you bow down for all the necessity you think you want, it will give it, but it therefore has taken something. And Jesus Christ knew this. He now said in his word, you know it has been written, that shall not bow down for any other God except God. So my dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord, no matter what you are looking for, money. No matter what you are looking for, fine woman. No matter what you are looking for, fine man. No matter what you are looking for, popularity. No matter what you are looking for, sufficiency. No matter what you are looking for, peace of mind only Jesus Christ has it not devil and immediately you compromise that let me take this money from devil and let me enjoy my life already it has taken peace of mind and immediately you are alone you say oh I'm alone I need a I need a spouse. I need this. And I, by that time, I will have peace of mind. By the time you allow that one to come in, already it has taken an easy. And you say, no, I know it's possible. Let me enjoy my life. Let me do this. By the time you started that, oh, is that enjoyment you want? Like it just, let's say, Jesus Christ was feeling hungry. It had been 40 days. Look at that kind of hunger. Uh, uh, and I said, okay, are, are you not Jesus Christ? Are you not me? Of that, that now this world, your father has given it to me. And there's nothing I cannot produce. You come into this world to come and meet me. Let me give you cake. Jesus Christ said, no. If I told anybody is going to feed me, it shouldn't be devil. If I told anybody is going to give you husband, if I told anybody is going to give you wife, if I told anybody is going to give you money, if I told anybody is going to give you cloth, if I told anybody is going to give you anything you want, it shouldn't be devil. Reject it. Don't compromise. Stay. Wait. The best is awaiting you. And the power and the blood, blood by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to see that best in Jesus' name. It is not difficult for him. The little we are working with him, the little we move near him, that's the little we are saying. And go and ask those people who move near him. Go and ask those people who work with him. By the time you are taking you have a testimony, by the time you are taking you enjoy in sin, by the time you are taking you are satisfied in sin, by the time you are taking that no one can even know how joyful I am. By the time you go to see those people who have testimony, 
you will say that you have you have gone because it, it has never given me anything without taking something and the the, the the essence is this you are not enjoying the world you are not enjoy, you are not going to enjoy kingdom of god What he always wants is for somebody to stumble. There's nothing good in devil. My dear brother, my dear sister, I was having I mean, it's a problem, and then I wish you see my marriage. It's very challenging and then very encouraging. I'm very bouncing in the Lord. You know nothing. You are taking that that's the testimony. If you go and ask that woman, go and ask that man what is passing through. And then by the time I mention only one, <laughs> I just mention one. But why? It is not it is not because we want. But it is because God loves us. And why? No, I, I'm not boasting. Because we surrender all to Him. And I believe if we can surrender all to the Lord, my dear brother, my dear sister, and the, the Lord, there's a miracle in your mouth in Jesus' name. You know, you will become a testimony that you will say at this particular period, I was thinking this thing is not possible. Then you will see those. Now you can't call anybody, you see them down. What is your testimony? Was I was talking with her about somebody, and then we are talking about that. I said, Okay, what do you want them to say? Is there any testimony in failure? You must say it's not proud. You must say it's not it's not do this. You must say it's, it's very cool. Huh? You must say it's very gentle. You must say, but there's not what do you want him to testify about? What do you want her to testify about? There is no testimony in failure. And whatever we call a failure is a failure. Somebody that cannot go to a, 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 a one class. From one class to another, it's a failure. Somebody that cannot succeed in one marriage or the other, is a failure. Somebody that cannot do this one thing or the other, is a failure. So you can't see that particular person to be talking to you and be and be and be proud. And you get what I'm saying? And be proud and be said this, 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 this. There's no testimony in failure. So if you are not working according to the will of the Lord. There's something wrong. But I want to tell you, once again, I tell you, smile, your Redeemer lives. Do you know the reason why? He said from your womb. You know, I'm only talking about completeness of the word of the Lord. I can't condemn, I'm not condemning. I can't say the, the real, but I, mean, no, I can't say the real things about the word of the Lord without taking talk about the right side of it. Bible let us know your Redeemer liveth. My Redeemer liveth, your Redeemer liveth in the name of Jesus Christ. And your, your road is going to be prosper. I want to tell you, He has answered your prayer. And you will be surprised in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Daniel, chapter 10, the book, so the, the title of my message is Your Miracle. Is at hand. In the book of Daniel, chapter 10. The book of Daniel. The book of Daniel, chapter 10. Thank God. God was telling me there was a reason we went through all this today. And as I was telling you, God understands, and by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your testimony. Is full in Jesus' name. God's score is zero. I mean, devil's score 
is zero on your destiny. If we, do, do you remember the word of the Lord? If I say God's score is zero, do you remember what the Bible says? The foolishness of God is better than the wisdom of man. <laughs> so if God, if God's score is zero on my word, know that the foolishness of um, God is better than the wisdom of man. So in the book of Daniel, I want to read for all the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 10. Daniel chapter 10. Daniel chapter 10, I will read for 12 to 14. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, from the first day that you did set your heart to understand and to chasten yourself before your God, your word were heard, and I am come for your works. God has come for your answer today in Jesus' name. As you have been thinking about it, as you are wondering about it, as you are bothered about it, the answer is already at your hand. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, if you obey the force of God, you obey the will of God, by the power and the blood, you are going to be surprised in Jesus' name. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I, I remained there with the king of Persia. Persia. Look at verse 14. Now I am come to make you understand what shall be for your people in the latter day. For yes, the fiction is for many days. Perilous will not be your own portion in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been going up, you will not go down in the name of Jesus Christ. Go up me. You have hold on to Jesus Christ. You have, have you have embraced the word of the law. You have embraced holiness, and then there's a there's a there's a there's a way. It's look like we are able to go. We will not go down in the name of Jesus Christ. God will bail you out. God will bail me out in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you look at those people that they have been in the kind of that storm. That you are thinking you are in storm, but God says to them, "You want to know what a storm is." In the first, in the book of Job, the book of Job, in the book of Job, chapter one, Job, chapter one, Job, Job, J O B. Job is in storm of life, as you are in storm of life, as I am in storm of life, and it's like God, which way? But if Job can come out of it, my dear brother, my dear sister, we are going to come out of it in Jesus' name. Job chapter 1, Job chapter 1. 13 to 21. I think the question that we be going through us is this. Then I find myself in the Rebukon. Which way out? I've been telling you, your Redeemer really leave it. And he wipe away our tears in Jesus' name. Job 13. Job chapter 1, 13 to 21. I will just read some. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen we are plowing, and the asses feeding the beside them, beside them. And the serpent fell upon them and took them away. Yes, they have killed the serpent with the edge of this world. I, and the, I only am escaped alone to tell the. You will escape to tell the testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Why it was just speaking, Jack came also in verse 16. Also, another and said, The fire of God is falling from heaven and has burnt up the sheep and the servant and consumed them. And I only uh, escaped alone to tell you. You can see what Job passed through financially. You, I, may be handicapped spiritually. You, I, may be handicapped. 
but there's always be a way of getting out by the power and the blood of jesus christ god is setting a way for you to get out in jesus name let's look at the first then job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worship do you know the meaning of worship by the time you worship god you surrender to the will of god and that's what i'm saying what is that decision what is that sweet thing what is that thing that is very honey that you think that is greater than worship god let it go and god is going to justify you in jesus name another storm your own you see that kind of the problem job was your home has not got to that stage let's look at the four uh, let's look at the uh, the first king 17 verse 12. first king first king 17 verse 12. first king 17 verse 12. first king 17 verse 12. and she said as the lord your god liveth i have not a king but a handful of me in a barrel and a little oil in a crew in the cruise and behold i'm a gathering two stick that i may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat and die your own situation have not got to that state you are the one that just rush that if i'm not eating that's the end of my life that if i'm not wearing this kind of cloth that's the end of my life that it can, if i cannot speak english that i can never get to united states that if i don't have husband if i don't have wife that's the end of my life who told you i wish you i speak english to you then you run away they call it arrow where i was speaking <laughs> english <laughs> by this time i said went ahead you won't stand before me before you run away And recently, I even went to to somebody. I I knew that this man was speaking English, and I was confused. <laughs> and and, I, and I, I wish my my wife my wife was there. And I, I as I was speaking, and I I I, I said went ahead again. And I remember that man. Nobody taught him. He changed to Yoruba my language. But the case is this. Look at how I speaking that English English now I have confidence in what I'm saying and then I doubt it I'm not bragging but let me brag before God let me brag I doubt it if there's any day in a country that is not even United States you don't talk about your pastor that despite all my percent of sorry is sorrow that's why all my instead of pass away is pass out i mean instead of pass out is pass away that's why that instead of uh, go uh, instead of percent of go instead of uh, i mean instead of using percent instead of using percent of go i say went ahead that's why that that's part that and your situation have never bad to that extent that you will lose hope the situation of this woman was so bad to the extent that he said, Can you imagine somebody that has a child? And he said, Let us kill my child. I mean, he said, This is the last meal we will eat. And by the time we eat, your situation has not been bad like that because you, grow, you are far away from the Bible. You are far away from the word of the Lord. And then, another, another person that was in the, in the storm is in 2 Kings chapter 2. Second King chapter two. 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 Twenty-eight to twenty-nine. Second King chapter two. Twenty-eight to twenty-nine. I want you to know, God has a reason. Chapter two. Yes. It only has twenty-five verses. It only has twenty. I'm coming. Second King. Okay, let's let's check first king. Let's check first king chapter two. 
28 to 29. But I may, because of my, I'm not able to think because I'm so conscious of the time. I'm not able to think the way I supposed to think. But I will tell us the story. And there was this woman. There was a famine in their land to the extent that they have eaten the child of the first one. So the next thing, second, first king, chapter two, twenty eight. I'm coming. Then tiny came to Joab for Job as long after Daniel do the. Okay, let's not just forget it. I will tell us the story. I know I will remember. Then, what what happened there is that okay. We are feeding my own child. Bring your own child too, so that we can eat. That was a famine in that land. Can you imagine that? What has happened to you? That has never happened to anybody. That you say, "Where is my God?" What are you passing through? What What is that experience you are having to the extent that you say, "No, I will take decision on my own, and I will take it." of the will of God. I want you to I want you to know your Redeemer live it. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ is going to rescue you, is going to rescue me in Jesus' name. Let's look at another storm. That's what your own may be. No, I want to get salvation for my family. I want to get salvation for my wife. I want to get salvation for my husband. I want to get salvation for my husband. And then you may say, like like John Claus said, give me Scotland or I die. Instead of me of being blessed indirectly, instead of me gain this one, Almighty Father, I be, you better give me my spouse. Salvation or I die. And the will of your mind, God is going to answer it in Jesus' name. You might have suffered a lot. I might have suffered a lot. You might, you might have surrendered whom you are in order for that husband to get the kingdom of God. You might have surrendered whom you are for, in order for that wife to get the kingdom of God. My dear brother, my dear sister, God has answered your prayer and that's why the lesson of today come by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You will not miss kingdom of God in Jesus' name. And all your captivity by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to return the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever that is not will of God, let us go back to Calvary. So that God can give you the family. My dear brother, my dear sister, you cannot be under the sin and continue to say the grace of the Lord will continue. And that's why we have stubbornness in a lot of things that is going on in each individual life. Because give me your garments. I know the garment of the kind of garment you put on. You know the garment of the kind of garment I put on. Many times what is going on, thank God that my, my mouth gets loose very well. But many times, a lot of things I've experienced, I will find it difficult to... I remember me and my brother, we talk a lot. But where there's a Christ, there's liberty. God is setting you free. He's setting me free from today in the name of Jesus Christ. And then, so your own may be, give me salvation of my family. Give me salvation of my children. Give me salvation of the... But the Bible is telling you, look at the... The Bible said, when the foundation is 40, what shall the righteous man do? But do not forget that Bible that said that, is, that that said in the book of Luke one, and said with God, all things are possible. Then your own may be like as I've told us, like like Sodom and Gomorrah. 
there's a lot of things in my family there's a lot of things i was, I was talking and uh, my father and the lord said uh, you just continue to do like that don't you know that a one a one millionaire in the family of many poor people he too is poor so if, if you are righteous and you know the will of God, if you are obeying the will of the Lord, and you are, you are still in the midst of this family, if, let's say you are rich and you are still among them, I want you to know you are still poor. I say, yes, pastor, it's yes, it's not my son in the Lord. That's the truth. And he pray for me. So no matter what the situation, what is wrong, it's wrong. But I want you to know, my dear brother, my dear sister, my dear wife, my dear, uh, my dear children, all of you, my friend, I have no any other family before you than you. Remember, you are not here. Who is going to be here? Remember, you are not teaching this kind of the message. The, this, the, best, the brother we brought forward thought today, who, how are we going to come across this? How will I remember this? What my family is going on? Remember a lot of things I passed through, I've dissolved with you. How will my family stand? If you can build my family, I want to build your family. Go back to cover. Like Sodom and Gomorrah, your own case may be like Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. And God was saying, I'm going to destroy this city. And Abraham was so concerned that you can't destroy me. You can't destroy this city. You can't destroy my family. Not is there. You can't destroy his, his, I mean, my cousin. But why God, if I find this many people, but God is going to start for you, He's going to start for me in the name of Jesus Christ. It's going to start from you. And you are the part of the people God is looking onto. And then, God himself, you may be like even God, in, in, in himself, God was so worried. And then he was like, I will destroy these people again, like the way the day I did it in the time of God, in the time, time of Noah. And Jesus was so bored, I said, no, if that be the case, let me go and sacrifice myself. Whatever is going to cause you to sacrifice the salvation of order, God will give you the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. The time has come. There's nothing too big. There's no relationship. There's no beginning. There's no end. God does not know. For every situation we find ourselves, God knows about it. And I know if we are ready to bear that cause, God is ready to, to, to solve the cause for you in Jesus' name. The promises of the Lord. In answering prayer. I've been telling us, including me, that we should go back to Calvary. In Daniel 10, chapter 12, the Bible was telling us, Daniel 10, chapter 12, Daniel 10, chapter 12, Daniel 10, my dear brother, my dear sister, you know one thing. Sometimes when you are praying, you don't know how God wants to answer that question, answer that prayer. You you may be saying that this is what I want, this is what I want, and God will say, Okay, this is what you want, and this is how I will provide it for you. But you are going to get it in Jesus' name. But this is the way they are going to you are going to get it. You might have been praying for that particular thing. God is answering your prayer today in Jesus' name. In Daniel chapter 10, verse 12. Daniel chapter 10. First step. That said it unto me, fear not. So, my dear brother, my dear sister, do not fear of whatever it may be going on in your mind. Do not fear of whatever situation you may find yourself. The God has brought the answer, and by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you cannot solve that problem with the Lord. We woman be may say no, then God say yes. We women may say yes and God say no. The only thing I'm just telling you is this. Whatever that is wrong, is wrong. Whatever that is right, is right. And if there's any wrong in our life, let's go back to the Lord. And Bible said, that said on ye unto him, fear not, darling. For from the first day that you did set your heart to understand and to chasten yourself before your God, your word was hard, and I am come for your word. So from the first day you have been thinking, you have been bothering. You have been considering. 
that this step I decided to take in order in order to go to school instead of serving God, in order to in, 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 in order to sacrifice this instead of doing this. That step you have been thinking, and you don't want to sacrifice. You don't want to sacrifice your degree in order to serve God. God said today, I'm here to answer your prayer. And God is answering your prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Second Chronicle, 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 Second Chronicle. Second Chronicle is after King. Second Chronicle is and after First King. Second Chronicle, chapter seven, verse fourteen. Chapter seven, verse fourteen. Chapter seven, verse fourteen. Look at what the Bible says. Chapter seven, verse fourteen. And Bible say, if my people, who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked way then i will hear from heaven so if you can listen to the word of the lord if you can obey the word of the lord if you can just kneel down before god that's this way i've been coming from this way i am all what i need is your guardians god guide me through and see me through and you humble yourself you come with the husband and wife we come together we pray together if it is only us only you you come together you pray together and do not forget if it is us husband and wife if it's better for two of you for me and my wife to come back to come together why the bible says one shall send one thousand why the two shall send two thousand i mean ten thousand away so that if two of you can come together and agree together and say this is what we want, this is what we want, God ready. You are going to buy. the enemy is conquered in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible make it clear if all of us can humble ourselves and we come together. The problem is solved, and by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, is being solved in Jesus' name. In the book of Second Chronicle, I mean Jeremiah 29, 12. Jeremiah 29, 12. And see another promise to let you know that God is with you. Almighty God is with you. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, is going to see every one of us through in Jesus. What did I tie to my message? Your answer is already at hand. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah 29, 12. Jeremiah 29, 12. Please, before I forget, there's a, there's a messages my wife sent out. For those people who are going for conversion, please register. Because instruction from the church is that we must register in the service. Please. So, in the, in the book of Jeremiah 29, 12. Jeremiah 29, 12. Then the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the prophet. The prophet. After that, Analiah the prophet had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying... Go and tell Anna, saying, Thus say the Lord, you are broken the yoke of wood, but you shall make for them yoke of iron. But for you, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, your yoke is being broken in Jesus' name. And the problem is solved by the power in the blood of Jesus. Then the word of the Lord came out to Jeremiah the prophet. After that, Analiah the prophet had broken the yoke from all the neck of the of the all the neck of the of the prophet your yoke is being broken in jesus name look at the book of mark 11 24 mark 11 24 mark 11 24 mark 11 and see what the bible say about praying i mean praying requesting and being 
answer 11 i mean 11 24 book of mark 11 24 this is the word of the lord this is the word of the lord therefore i say unto you what is so ever you desire so if all of us desire it if, if all of us agree with it if all of us say that's what they, when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them in jesus name you have that all those things in the name of jesus because of our time i will quickly go to the, sec the second one the prohibitive object to answer prayer what are those things that stop that causing a stumbling block one of them is the devil himself doesn't want us to succeed and the devil know that almighty god does not love sin so what if we god devil always do is this to bring sin before us so that whenever we are committing that sin we go we are, we are i mean our destiny go astray so that's what happened in the in the in the in the book of daniel chapter 10 verse 13. book of daniel chapter 10 verse 13. god has already wanted to i mean god has already wanted to i mean the, the prayer has even been answered but what happened persia i mean the the the, the persia hold on the prayer he does not let the uh, the the prayer be answered what is our own persia of this period it is sin and immediately we are holding that sin that means our prayer will not be answered but by the power in the blood of jesus christ god is setting us free from the all yoke in the name of jesus christ daniel 10 13 daniel 10 verse 13 but the prince of the kingdom of persia we stood me one and twenty days but lo Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me and i remained there with the king of persia by the power and the blood of the king of persia god is removing from your from your front from your front from your back today in jesus name and god is setting it free in jesus name it's just a matter of prayer then i will not be able to go to that one all that of that other things that is disturbing us from our prayer being answered all of them it, it uh, they are in the first peter chap, uh, chapter 3. in the chapter 3 in first 12 we will see wrong relation with god when there's a wrong relation with god our prayer will not be answered in in, in first peter chapter 3 one when we have a wrong relation with other woman being wrong with relation with other woman being our prayer will not be answered in first peter chapter 3 3 to 4 when we are in worldly dressing attracting let other people fall causing other people to fall either we are woman or man our prayer will not be answered in, in, in first peter chapter 3 uh, chapter 3 verse 4 if we are in proud like in book of james chapter 4 verse 10 we are so proud our prayer will not be answered in, in the book of first peter chapter 3 verse 10 if we are with unclean clip our prayer will not be answered in the first peter chapter 3 verse 16 a bad conscience we are before almighty god we are we are we are praying we are, but our conscience is not clear our prayer we our prayer will not be answered then if we do not have children uh, christian love our prayer will not be you can see the reason why many of us we are stagnant we put ourselves in the problem god does not prove us we cause a lot of interests to uh, interest god has not causing to us we cause a lot of problems to what we have not god is not the plan of god for us but i want you to know as i'm saying your redeemer leave it that one let me go to the last one the possessiveness of relying upon god as we are living here my dear brother my dear sister including me as we are depending upon god in book of daniel chapter 10 verse 14 daniel chapter 10 verse 14 daniel chapter 10 verse 14 now i'm come to make you understand what shall be for your people in the latter day for yet the fishing is for many days goodness is befalling you or in the name of jesus christ righteousness is befalling you in the name of jesus christ by the time of you by the power and the blood of jesus christ your relationship will yield fruitfulness my relationship with my wife your relationship with your wife your relationship with your children will be we yield fruitfulness uh, will be fruitful in the name of jesus christ 
by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will wipe away your tears. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will carry your load for you. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will set you free. God will set me free. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Bible says the latter rain is better than the beginning. I want to tell you once again, love. That's a joy. God will have a purpose for you. God has a reason for you. You cannot tell me that from the day you were born, or from the day you start a plan, or from the day you are started working, or the day you started executing that plan, God does not know. He knows. But he has come. And tell you and tell me that the time has come. I've let you matured. I've let you sing. And then I want to use it for another glory. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not resist it in Jesus' name. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. First Corinthians chapter 10. First Corinthians chapter 10. First Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 13. First Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 13. First Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 13. There is nothing that is happening to you. There is nothing you are passing through. There is nothing that has happened to you that has never happened to anybody else. It is just the way they hold it. First Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 13. There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. That's for is it first Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Verse 13. There's no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. God know the plan of devil. And he know he know what he wants to do for us. And he knows that this is what he can do. And as a result of the he, that God has put limitation to the whatever Satan can do. So there is no temptation, there's nothing you pass through. There's nothing but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. Today is that day. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, testimony is ours in Jesus' name. But we, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. John 16 33. The book of John 16 33. The book of John 16 33. The book of John 16. 33. The book of John 16 33. This thing I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be good chase. I have come and I have overcome the world. So God have overcome the world for you in Jesus' name. Just be cheerful. He knows everything. He knows where you are coming from. He knows where you are. Exodus 14, verse 16. That's the last verse we are going to read. Exodus. Exodus 14. 16. You will now call upon the name of the Lord. You will stretch your sword. And you will talk to the Lord. All what I've said. As I'm speaking my own, God is speaking to your own heart. And God, and then you know what God is speaking to you. And you know the right thing to do. And this is what Moses did. In chapter 14, verse 16. Chapter 14. But you lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. You will divide that problem within you and God today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us rise up and call upon the name of the Lord. Stretch your sword. Stretch your sword. Your sword is your prayer. 
Your sword, your, the mighty sword, is that prayer. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Father, you know, I've done everything according to who I am. But today, I've learned from the, from the life of Ruth, I've learned from the life of Naomi, and we have heard about the message, my Redeemer, live it. My testimony is a, is a time. My prayer is being answered. Call upon the name of the Lord. Is it education? Why can't you call upon Him? Do not sacrifice. Do not sacrifice your life for education for for for, for just ordinary uh, cardboard. Is it money? Why do you want to sacrifice your life for paper? You see, emotional, I feel forgotten. He's the one that look at that Adam need help. And he, provide, he provided that help. What is that thing? That is a big stick. Present it before God. He knows the best. Your pastor may not know the best. But your pastor may know the word of the Lord. Do not forget the word the Bible says. It's for direction. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Stress your sword. Your prayer is your sword. By the power and the blood of Jesus, nobody in my family, nobody in your family, devil will cheat again in Jesus' name. And all things. Any question? Why can't you sit me down? Anything that bother you, why can't you sit me down? Let's go to the word of the Lord together. If it is not clear, if it's not something I can undo, why can't we call our leader? And then if there's anything that looks like we want to be hiding, there's something there. But one thing I want to tell you, the Bible says, all of us, we are children of the Bible. We have been in this church for more than a year, for more than six months. We cannot see somebody down and say this is what the Bible says. The Bible now says, who is that person that we start? That particular thing and look back. My dear brother, my dear sister, is it because of the situation we want to look back? No. He knows the best. Go on to see him. You and your husband. You and your wife. Come together. Lean down before God. You and that you and that woman, you and that sister, you're thinking, is it best for you? Yes, if it is the will of God, it's the best. But come together, lean down together. God wants to use you. God wants you to want to use you to build families. In our marriage, whereby there's no joy. Let's pray together. Let's lean down together. That was the causes. There's nothing to sacrifice. I mean, too, I mean, too big to sacrifice for kingdom of God. Bury your pride. Be humble. Obey the word of the Lord. Ask for grace. He asked reason for everything. He asked reason for let you know me. He asked reason for let me know you. See how you are helping our Christian journey. See how, us, how I have helped your Christian journey. He knows the reason why he has brought us together. 
and they can still do more than this. Come together, pray together. God will tell you the best solution. You can do it. He will wipe away your tear. I mean, your shoe. I know the shoe you are. I know how difficult it is. I know how difficult it is, my dear sister, my dear brother. I know how heavy it is. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, do not run away for the word of the Lord. Do not go away. Look at the almighty thing God has put into your hand. Look at the family you have saved. Look at the families you have helped. Your conscience may not be set to, but God knows your conscience more than yourself. You set everything before God. For all those people, God is opening our eyes. Do not be resistant to the word of the Lord. The Bible says the judgment we start from the house of the Lord. But those people who know how to do good and do not do it, who want to them? I want you to tell you, your Redeemer is living. He's setting you free, he's setting me free. The grace of the Lord is sufficient for you. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Call the family together. That's when I want to come together. Pray individually. Pray in your clay. Clear all mind. And let God take over. And the power and the blood of Jesus Christ will not bite finger in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray as you want. The service is over.